Student Pets Channel Presence Things that hurt your cat emotionally But before we go to the video, subscribe to our channel and leave your like, as this will help our channel grow, now stay with the video. Cats are considered stoic animals, which means that they tend to hide their feelings and weaknesses precisely in order not to attract predators and thus save their lives. Most feline behaviors are protective, adapting better to the territory, seeking comfort, and most importantly, maintaining their health and well-being. Like humans, cats also experience negative emotions such as sadness, fear, helplessness and frustration. And they can also represent illnesses such as depression and anxiety. But how can I tell if my cat is having an emotional problem? It is by changing their behavior that cats show that something is wrong. Therefore, knowing how to monitor these signs, which can start with changes in their body signals, is extremely important. Diseases that are considered clinical, such as digestive, respiratory, heart, endocrine, among others, and emotional diseases, more associated with brain regions, can produce changes in this behavior. A cat with an emotional problem may have clinical signs such as lack or increase in appetite, vomiting, diarrhea, feline acne, blood in the urine, hair loss, and may also show behavioral signs such as heading out of the box, Heading out of the box is not normal in a cat's life. Cats are extremely hygienic animals and this behavior can mean anything from minor litter box cleaning problems to more serious health problems, such as kidney disease, urinary tract disease, diabetes, and others. Aggressiveness. Being constantly aggressive with humans and other animals is not a natural behavior for cats. Aggression can occur for a variety of reasons, including chronic stress, depression, pain, fear, anxiety, lack of play and activities, excessive affection, excessive licking. Licking is a natural behavior for cats, they perform this task daily. However, excessive licking can indicate the presence of parasites, allergic problems, bacteria, and other things. But it can also indicate that something is wrong with your cat's emotional health. If your kitten licks too much on any part of the body, seek medical attention immediately. Eating things that are not food. Cats like and need to hunt and play daily. Eating some plants, destroying some toys and even objects, like a box, are even considered healthy behaviors for them. Eating things like cell phone wires, plastic bags, fabric, and other objects is not normal. If the cat has this problem, make a careful evaluation, because it may be suffering from a clinical or emotional illness. And what can you do if your cat has an emotional problem? First of all, it is necessary to stay calm and go to a veterinarian specialized in cats for a good clinical evaluation and complementary tests, blood, skin, urine, ultrasound. If no clinical disease is diagnosed, your cat's problem may be purely behavioral. Identifying the triggers that lead to this problem is the most important step. And what can cause an emotional problem in my cat? Changes in family composition, very hectic environments, very monotonous environments, lack of a play routine, unpredictability in his environment, drastic changes in the household routine. Just like humans, cats need a balanced life to be healthy and free of emotional problems. So that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to leave your like and follow our channel. A big hug to all.